the final home match for the British Lionhearts in the World Series of Boxing for 2015, and it shapes to be the hardest night yet against the fearsome Cuba Domadores. The action tonight from the Copper Box Arena in the Olympic Park in London, right next door to the Olympic Stadium itself. That was quality there for, for Margalay. You see, better from Mafosa. In, in some, Arguelagos has worked in fits and starts in the latter half of it, but he's had the better accuracy overall, I think. A little bit more power and a lot more know-how to this stage of his career, even though he is slightly the younger man. In the blue corner, representing the Cuba Domadores, it is Johannes Arguelagos. Magorda is getting the better of a lot of these exchanges, though, isn't he? I think so. Paul, he is. Um, he's just being kept off balance with that jab. As long as he keeps that guard up, just gets caught there. But it's that distance there. Look, that's where you've got to move your head. If you're just planning the next attack, you've got to keep your own target moving. Is open to that right hand over the top. That's a lovely shot there. That, that left uppercut there from Cruz. That was a quality punch. But you've got to give credit to Cruz. Boxing lovely now at range. And catching with Goldick as he's coming forward. Extremely capable. The winner. And now 5-0 and oh in this season's World Series of Boxing. In the blue corner, Andy Cruz of the Cuba Domadores. The single shot that Toledo can throw. Almost there again could prove decisive in this fight. See, there was an example of Maxwell moving in too close without measuring the gap with the jab. Great left hook. Maxwell, OK, he's walked through it, but he did have to hold on for a moment. His shots are missing the target. Oh, he's caught. Maxwell caught with a shot there. Standing count. Brilliant effort from Maxwell. And looking to train with him. What spirit he's shown. He's going to call it off here. And he's not getting the opportunity to see it through Maxwell. But he has been so brave here. And your winner by TKO from the Cuba Domadores, Yaslia Toledo. It's a blistering combination. Williamson was caught off balance, I thought, before the last shot in the combination actually landed. It was a good left up pull that did the damage. He's took the fight to the Cuban and work. he's done well. Mentally, Absolutely. he's there. He's still battling away. He's being caught with some shots, but mentally he's strong. Well, he took a bit of a liberty right at the end and he's paid for it because he's walking back on very unsteady legs. He dropped his hands and asked a big question of Lopez. Lopez doesn't need that invitation. The winner from the Cuba Domadores, Arlen Lopez. Obviously, Jutaro is, is really up against it here. He's in against a, um, a quality Cuban boxer. Well, I think you always need a little bit of luck to win um, an Olympic gold medal. Oh! I think he's going to get up here, Richie. I think this is over. And I think that's probably the right thing that the referee... The referee should call it off for me. Probably the best punch thrown this evening. What oh. a right up a good that was. Accuracy, speed and power. Just sets it up with the jab look. Just measures the distance with the jab and then throws the right up a good through the middle. You won't see a better right up a good than that. Your winner by knockout from the Cuba Domadores, Erislandi Savon. That is the story of the night here at the Copper Box Arena. It has most certainly gone with form as the Cuba Domadores again win by shutout. They've been doing that all over, home and away in Group A through the tournament. They've, as a group in the entire campaign so far, only lost seven individual bouts, and that is the record after tonight as well.